And with that, our headphone stand project is all done. Now we can export this file, give it over to SendCut Send, have them manufacture it, and then ship it over to us. To get started, we need to flatten out our headphone stand. So I'm gonna go into the Create menu, go down to the very bottom and click on Create Flat Pattern. I can click on any flat face on this project, really doesn't make a difference. Click OK. And this is going to be flattening out our project in a very similar way to the Unfold tool. But as you can see, it's added a bunch of information about where those bends need to take place. And what we're going to be doing is exporting this as a DXF. That is a very, very simple 2D vector graphic. Then we can click OK, making sure that our units match the units that we designed our project in. Click OK. And we can rename this file something like headphone stand DXF and then the thickness of the material. We can go ahead and save it to our desktop and then go over to sendcutsend.com. You can see all of the different projects that I've been working on. Uh, I will eventually put out the R2D2 video. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this file from our desktop. There we go. Let that load for a second, and then we can go ahead and select all of our material. First, we wanna confirm this is the right size, 500 millimeters by 90, perfect. Click confirm, where we can select our material. We're gonna go into metals, aluminum, and we chose 5052 aluminum, perfect. Now it's asking us for the thickness. Well, we chose an eighth of an inch or 3.2 millimeters. There we can click next. And we actually want to have them do the bending for us. So I'm gonna click on bending. And as you can see, when I hover my cursor over any of the four bends that it's identifying in this DXF, it will highlight all of those. So this top one, I want to be making this 100 degrees. This one near the very top is going to be 60 but I want to be changing it over to down. Then these other two right here, we're gonna be setting this to 80. And then finally, the last one, 100. And if we get a sideways view, oh, I actually want this to be leaning over a little bit more. So that one, we're going to be tweaking over to 100. And then this top one is going to be 80. There we go. Now this top and bottom edge is totally parallel and everything looks perfect. Now we can go ahead and click next. Keep deburring, let them take off all those sharp corners for you, and then click Add to Cart. 